Hi everyone, this is Dr. Sarkissian. In this video, I will be placing a Ceramex Zirconia ceramic implant and extracting two failing root canal teeth with a ridge preservation graft. I chose to use the Swiss made P6 Ceramex implant, which resembles the Strauman Standard Plus model. It is fully metal free, made of zirconium dioxide, and is placed slightly above bone level. This is the 3D scan or the CBCT we study beforehand. I use a conservative flap without any extensive uh, vertical release incisions and I extend it to the tooth I'm going to extract, number four. This extraction has to be done atraumatically, trying to preserve as much uh, cortical bone as possible. I'm just teasing the tooth, a little wiggle wiggle, little uh, buccal lingual and rotational stretching of the bone, and eventually it will come out. You shouldn't apply too much force. This is a good time to draw some blood to spin and obtain some PRF or platelet rich fibrin, which we will use with the graft material. A little more about that later. I use a pilot drill with a stop system I got from Salvin's set at 12 millimeters. Of course, uh, with the prior CBCT um, study, uh, I have determined that I'm going to use a 10 millimeter implant. I just want to go a little deeper uh, with my pilot drill to be able to insert uh, the full length of my implant. I enter the bone at an approximate eight degree angle. I have enough depth, but I don't have uh, as much thickness as I want. So I will uh, stretch the bone a little bit um, for the next three sizes rather than drilling out the bone. I'd rather keep some bone and stretch it. And this is the final tapping from the Zeramex uh, system. And I tap all the way to the apex of the implant. Zeramex is a Swiss made fully ceramic zirconia implant. Zirconia is uh, an abbreviation for zirconium dioxide. It's a pure ceramic. It has no metal in it and no metal properties. It is white and very durable. Breakage is not an issue. That was the case only 40 to 50 years ago with experimental ceramics. Uh, we rinse the wound out with ozonated saline and we slowly insert the implant to a torque of 25 Newton centimeter. Time to extract the last remaining tooth, which is tooth number two. Same principles apply. Um, we always warn the patient that the crown may pop off or it may chip or it may break. So we have to be ready to catch the pieces or to protect the mouth. And what we have here is called a Mr. Thirsty, which has a three-in-one function, a bite block, suction, and blocking the throat. Here's a fast forward video of uh, our staff member preparing the PRF and processing it so that we have both uh, plugs and membranes. Some of this will be mixed in with the particulate graft. In this case, I'm using Cerazorb, which is a beta tricalcium phosphate.
some of the liquid that's expressed from the pressing of these plugs I use to mix with the Cerazorb and which makes uh, something called sticky bone but I loosely pack it into the depth of the socket I cover that layer with a plug of PRF and I cover the whole thing with uh, a membrane of PRF which I tuck under the, the flaps. I use PTFE 30 sutures and I close the surgical site with mattress sutures. My hat's off to my amazing team who are now clearing up the battlefield. That's Nelly, Tamara, Melia, Jessica, Mary. And yes, it gets bloody, but blood is the substance of life. Thank you for watching.